Fox Business Alert, Amazon making a big tech move to shave time off even its same day deliveries, getting those packages to you guys much more quickly. Reuters reporting today that the retail giant is developing smart glasses in an effort to slice delivery times for those last 100 yards, not even the last mile, 100 yards. The glasses would guide delivery drivers with turn-by-turn -turn directions through an embedded screen in order to free them from handheld navigation. From glasses to AR, VR headsets changing the way people live and do things, HTC Vive and its new Vive Focus Vision headset helping U.S. military veterans recover from their post-traumatic stress disorder by using AR, VR powered headsets that have AI coming through them. This has never really been done before. The company says it's already helped thousands of veterans and now those headsets are on the battlefield. Joining me now in this Veterans Day, on this Veterans Day is in a Fox Business exclusive HTC Vive president of the Americas, Dan O'Brien. Dan, the last time you were here, you were showing us how your AR, VR headsets were helping to train firefighters right. in simulated fires much safer in training and very realistic. Right. Now you are working on the battlefield options for this. Tell us exactly what you're doing. So we're working with an amazing company called uh, Axios VR, and we are actually creating treatment solutions for veterans, specifically for PTSD recovery. So we've created a solution now that uh, veterans can actually put on the headset, go into an immersive experience, and we can actually address neurological and neural uh, damage to the physical brain. So it's actually uh, helping veterans recover a physical brain injury and actually get to really, really effective uh, uh, solutions. Tell me what they're seeing when they put the headset on. So they're gonna go through a series of, for each veteran it's gonna be unique, okay? And so for every veteran they're going to go into different tasks and experiences and different stress loads. And the whole purpose is actually to do these different activities and actually cause uh, a uh, neuropath uh, recovery, which actually increases blood flow to areas of the brain that actually don't have enough going to it. So that's what the actual recovery is. I would imagine you have pulse checks and, and other equipment that are attached to their bodies. To Not check. right now, no. Not right this now? is all they need is to put, actually put on the headset. So this is, we can actually simulate one hour a day, four days a week is the same equivalent of 14 days of uh, therapeutic traditional methods. Okay, I'm having trouble wrapping my mind around exactly what would happen if I were a soldier who had PTSD. Can you give us an example? Give our viewers an example. Sure. A real one. I need right. a real one. Okay, so a lot of our veterans could be in very physical environments, downrange, and they could actually have physical trauma to their brain, right? So we have a soldier right now in Ukraine, and that soldier was nonverbal for three months. Now, Dr. Brendan Barrowman actually went over into the Ukraine and actually did uh, took the headset and actually put it into the, the soldier and put him through those experiences. Mm -hmm. And within one day, he was back to verbal and on a path to recovery. Had he had a physical injury or had he seen something that caused post-traumatic stress? I think disorder? it's a combination of both. In his case, uh, his family was actually uh, murdered in the Ukraine war. Oh and so he actually went and fought and then actually was uh, injured himself and then became nonverbal and through uh, a series of different uh, activities that he was involved in. So it's in the war theater overseas. Is it here in the U.S.? Yes. Tell me what's happening here. Right. In the U.S., we have it working with Ohio State uh, PTSD uh, facilities. We have it working with the VA. We have it working um, with the U.S. Army. So we have it in a variety of different areas where we're actually showing the impact. And we're actually right now in, in uh, clinical trials with thousands of soldiers. And within, by 2030, we're hoping to affect hundreds of thousands. That's incredible. How much does it cost? Right now, it's a, it's a $1,300 headset. So it's very cost effective. And if you look at the incoming uh, uh, presidency. Wait, is that more than, that's less than the Apple, oh, isn't it? Oh, by, by more than half. By <laughs> Which more isn't than half. selling. The Vision Pro is not selling. Well, it's too expensive. <laughs> it's too uncomfortable. And it doesn't actually provide any solutions. So in the case of ours, you know, it's a very cost of effective solution and it's scalable. Think about it now. Very light. A traditional, uh, a traditional therapy is typically over 55 people supporting those veterans at two weeks of therapy to, to help them. These are eight hour therapy sessions. This is a headset that does it one hour session in four days. Amazing. Right. Amazing. Could you see it scaling up to other mental health issues? Absolutely. It can come across to anybody, not just 
veterans, but anybody that has PTSD. And that comes in the form of physical injury, that comes in the form of emotional or psychological injury. Your brain actually um, goes into a protective mode mm -hmm. and will actually shut, shut off down. areas sure. of your brain. And that's when you're in a real mental health crisis. And in those scenarios, traditional therapies don't work because that person is in crisis. Mm. This is actually getting the user back to a homeostasis point so therapy does work. This is a case of technology possibly doing incredible things. Let us know when it's put out in any war theater elsewhere. We'd love to follow this story. Sounds good. Thanks, Liz.